are at Cove Bay and we found this cool little shady cliffside looking out at this amazing beach. There's even a little cave down there. So I am going to set everything up here and paint. Checking how this is gonna do in the wind, which it so far seems stable. Uh, I've only used it twice. The umbrella that is. whole cliff first to make sure I like the composition with like a nice warm color and then I'll do all the shadows and detail and stuff on top. not working out. Starting over. What? Starting over. Oh, why? Because it was shite. <laughs> okay, so let's get real, guys. Uh, I wanted to leave that little bit in because it's a very accurate um, insight into what happens to me when I go out painting. And you're going to see along the way as I'm painting here that I'm struggling at some point I admit that it is just ridiculously difficult and I'm overwhelmed, but I still just do it. Basically what I do when I sit down to paint is I try to think about all of the things I've learned in the studio. And in this case, I sat down to, um, I, I jumped into it too quickly. So when I started over, I gave myself time to actually draw out the whole cliff or the, you know, make the composition exactly how I wanted it before I picked up my paint. And I should have done that in the first place. I should have even done a value study, but I felt a little bit more rushed because Wolfie was there with me. And also um, we were kind of on this cliff near the trail and I, I thought we were going to go down to the water and I didn't want to take too long here. So, you know, that was my bad. But once I finally got that sketch in and I kind of slowed down a little bit and started thinking about the scene, it got a little bit easier, although not completely. <laughs> I started out doing um, watercolor style with the gouache, meaning I used it very wet, did a lot of wet into wet, especially for the background, because I just wanted it to be a little bit more abstract back there. And then I began building up the layer in the foreground, first thinking about like a a nice base color for pretty much everything in the scene and then I would come back in and add lots of little details. <laughs> There's so much sand in my paint. Oh god. Yep, you heard that correctly. There's sand in my paint because when I started over and I was kind of in a huff and I like bent over to pick something up and my palette box fell off of my lap face down in the sand and when I picked it up I scooped up a bunch of sand and each each little well of color in my palette box was like only half full of gouache and after I picked it up it was also half full of sand so I had to like shake it out and scrape it out as best as I could without letting the paint fall out it was a nightmare so this painting like that was another thing that was just kind of like hanging over my head throughout the painting. And, you know, I tried to forget about it and just paint anyway, but it just was kind of there in the back of my mind. So, you know, the distractions that happen when we're outside are totally different than when we're in the studio. Nice, safe and sound without all the elements coming at us. And it's one of those things that you just have to get used to when you're outside. And it's funny because sometimes I'll be like a little bit too cocky. I'm like, oh, I always paint outside. I know what to do. I know how to set up and just like get started. And every single time I'm humbled by something. So it's, it's just never ending. <laughs> In a way, I kind of like that because it keeps me on my toes. And it reminds me that, nope, 
yeah, you got a lot to learn. <laughs> and it just keeps me, you know, keeps me that fire in my heart, keeps me going and wanting to improve and just constantly do better each time. This is so hard. Oh. I just don't know what colors to use. I'm getting so confused and overwhelmed. The colors you're using are buying on. Oh, really? Oh. Maybe I'm just overthinking everything. That's unusual for you. Boy. You don't usually overthink everything. Oh, no, wait, no. The other thing. To the opposite of that. Yeah. So you can hear my uncertainty there. Uh, and of course, Wolfie is so wonderful. He's always <laughs> reassuring me. But um, from my own point of view, sometimes I am I get kind of lost in the moment and forget to think about things um, in a logical way. <laughs> I get too emotionally uh, or like I work a little bit too intuitively or emotionally. And honestly, sometimes just going into such a beautiful scene like this, I have such huge expectations for myself and that alone is enough pressure to kind of paralyze me and I don't fully think everything through every time. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there. Cause... No. What? More yellow in the gorse. Up there? Yeah, it's all very green. I mean, I can see there's hints of yellow, but... My brain is just like, no. Oh. It's done. Done? Yeah. Mm. Hold up, then. Oh, crap. There we go. No, 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 back, my baby, back up. Oh, it's so cute how much he wants to help. I love it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this mini session and I'm definitely gonna be back here with my newer paint box and doing lots more painting here, which is gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm gonna share that journey with you all. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you again soon.